CBS 4 gets an exclusive look at the Border Patrol's canine training program. The dogs get their training at the Fort Bliss training grounds. CBS 4 at Tins Harrison Parker is in our newscast control room to give you a closer look at how the program works. We were the only station invited to the Border Patrol Canine Academy's pre-graduation today. The dogs you see at Customs all are trained here in El Paso at Fort Bliss. I got to spend my morning watching some of these dogs in action. Take a look. Bassie, sit. Good. That's Bassie, a two-year-old Belgian Malamute on the last day of training. He's been training to work at a busy border crossing in the southwest United States. And we do a selection test to make sure these dogs have the critical drives to be able to do our job. Agent Jaime Lopez says the dogs are brought from all over the country to be trained alongside their instructor. He's, he was green dog. He had no formal training. So when we purchased them, um, detection is his first primary job. So this is new to him and this is what he'll be doing the rest of his career. The Academy trains dogs for federal, state, and local agencies with a wide variety of specialties. Um, we do all the formal training for five disciplines that we carry. Uh, concealed human, narcotics detection, human remains detection, patrol, search and rescue, and track and trail. The training has dogs live with their instructor for much of the 12-week course, creating a bond that is vital for the dog to learn how and when to do his job. Anytime they see you in uniform, they know it's time to work compared to maybe being regular clothes, t-shirt and jeans. Um, but the dog does get accustomed to uniform on, truck is started, time to work. After graduation, Bassie will live with his instructor for the rest of his life, even after retirement. I want my partner to love life. And once we start working, we're working as a team and we're, we're protecting each other and we're working together as a team. There are roughly 180 dogs at the Fort Bliss Academy waiting to be trained and placed with their new handlers. Board Patrol told me that they have roughly 10 to 12 of these graduations a year and we'll be covering tomorrow's ceremony. Reporting from the control room, Harrison Parker, CBS4.